Yes. We're gonna have to. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm deadly serious. Okay, did you lose your passport? Wow. Look what mum just did. Mine, that's mine, that's mine. I feel like it's only fair that you get it. He's rushing towards him on the jet ski. It might be a shark alarm. Who can remember when we surprised Socky and Sable with business class tickets and the controversy that that caused? Well, lots of you wrote that we should do the same thing for Naz and Biggie. And because we listen to you and you're part of our family, that's what we're going to do tomorrow. We'll be surprising them with business class tickets. Tomorrow I'm going to take them all surfing, which is actually a dream of mine to go surfing on an outer tropical reef. And then I'm going to pick the perfect moment to surprise Naz and Biggie. <laughs> It's so fun. I'm so excited. Love you. Love you. I cannot wait. Woo! Three, two, one. Hopefully I can make today extra special for Biggie and Naz because they've got a special surprise. Business class tickets on the way home. If we can find the right moment to tell them, that's what I'm going to do. It's exciting. Yeah, the island is pretty sick. he has talked about wanting to do this with the kids his whole life and I really wish I was there. I'm so glad you're there and you can like, I know see Papa do something that's really important for him because he does so many things for the kids. Papa does a lot for this family and without Papa I thought the family would crumble. He's definitely the good family and I'm really, really lucky to have a dad like him. It makes me sad whenever I think about the time when he was in the ICU and he was, well, I don't know if we could have lost him but it's just like horrifying and I cry whenever I think about it. And I wonder if he's told Nazi and Biggie yet um, that they're flying in business class on the way home because they're going to be so stoked because that's their dream. I want to make you say extra special things. Aww, you're so hot. How are you so good? You're the best day I ever did. Oh, thanks, mate. Is that the right time to tell him? Should I tell Biggie now? Biggs! Love you. Love you. But can you remember like the house next door when he had the idea to buy the house next door and trade in Saver's apartment? He was so nervous to tell them. So hopefully he's not getting nervous to tell them about the plane ticket. Yes, Saver. Yes, Saver. Woo! And the good news is I'm going to see Winky and Pluto tomorrow. Whoop. Am I going to die? Oh, I think I might just make it. Yeah. I'm upgraded to an extra comfy seat on the boat. I've got a little area for my legs. And I got a little chair. on the boat, so I could tell Biggie he's got the business class tickets now. I'm just getting really confused on what to do because this is such a perfect moment. Oh, who's on that one? Oh, Biggie got the one behind it. Wow. That is the best. Papa doesn't like holidays, doesn't like anything designing, wears the same clothes every day. He likes putting his luggage in garbage bags. So he doesn't really like anything. But surfing with his kids is what he loves. So I just hope the Norris hope they made it so, so, so special. I'm bummed today's our last day. I feel like I'm not ready to leave. Thank, Thank you. That was great. Such a life goal of mine to go surfing with the kids. Yeah. So, oh, it's so good. good. We never afford it and all that sort of stuff. We've worked hard for a long time. So it was like such a super special memory was really cool. Yeah. That was so much it was fun. so cool. Oh, I can't believe how well Papa surfed. Oh, Papa, you, so you were really good. Yeah, you were really good. Mummy, <laughs> that was so much fun. I reckon we're going to have a lot of memories off that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we just replayed the footage and that's banged it. <laughs> we just put the very last frame when I was just about to turn off the camera and that's bumping your head on the roof over there. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, welcome for another beautiful legend. The best thing is Biggie's been giving so much to his sisters and he really deserves to be surprised. Like look at him over there. He's hanging out with Socky. Biggie actually took me sailing yesterday. Yes. I got fully soaked. He said I wasn't gonna get wet. Oh, I can't wait to see his reaction when he gets business class. He's gonna be freaking out. So at this point, I just assumed Papa had already surprised Biggie and Naz with the news that they were flying business class on the way home. Did Papa love it? Oh, yeah. he's so happy. We Papa all loved, loved it. it. Are we you all had the best time. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Oh. For the last day. Yeah, I'm sad. Aww. Yeah. I am sad. Oh, it's gonna have so much fun. We've got eggs benedict and we've got two omelets. So the Norris starts are still at breakfast and I left with the babies and I'm so lucky that I didn't say anything to Naz or Biggie about the business class tickets because clearly Justin hasn't told anyone. Like I didn't rule it off for him. I thought they would have known by now. I wonder when we should tell them if they don't know now. How this game works is these two will spin me around and then they set me out and give me a stick. 
What am I doing? I'm gonna take 10 steps and try to smash this watermelon. I miss, but can Sockies and Naz make it? Socky, let's see, she's taking some few steps towards the watermelon. Oh my gosh, she's like a good meter putt. Guys, seriously? Okay, now's his turn. She gets handed the stick and let's see. She takes a few steps and what is she doing? Is she gonna try and go for a swim? Oh my, that's embarrassing. Oh my gosh, my hair is so goofy. Somehow I always buy the goofier cap. I don't know how, but I just do. Anyway, we're gonna get our wetsuits on. Go dangerous e falling. Oh, it's, it's safe, but you know, dangerous for a thing. So do it at the hydro foil. Okay. You can do it, Jess. You can do the surprise. Always. Okay. Like I think it'll be nice because we'll all be together. And yeah. Stuff. It'll be such a moment. And I feel like it's going to be like the perfect moment. Maybe just out there on the reef where I can surprise them and make their holiday even better. I just can't wait to see their reaction though when they figure it out and we get to tell them, which hopefully will happen right now. No stunts right now. I feel like this is a really special moment. Okay. I'm gonna surprise you with something that I feel like you deserve. Because everyone's so, like everyone's such a good kid. Shut that in. <laughs> um, it's like a really good moment, but then there's chicken out and just said they do an e following which they already know about, so. Um, They're gonna be so sus, man. Yeah, I know. They're I gonna just, know what it is if you don't tell them. You need to tell okay, them now. Because right. they'll, well, they'll the, work it out. There's a problem with the e following. So you can only get two at a time. Oh, no. So I'm gonna tell them all together. Ah, uh, that's all right. Just tell them you'll work it out. Um, big. Yeah. Um, you know how we've been going really good with father yep. and son? Yep. Um, well, this is a weird moment. What's happening here? <laughs> Are you being surprised with the new dream holiday? <laughs> yeah, sucky. Do you want to know the real reason I have goggles? Because I have my mascara. Just Who's your island holiday? I just have that crazy reason. The crazy reason. Powers when Disky had more reason than his brother. <laughs> it's easy to have reason when you're little. Yeah, Biggie's have ultimate like, reason when he was a little kid. I got a kiss on the cheek on live TV when I was little. Look at those eyes. Why don't you go check up on that one? Yeah. <laughs> you're sitting at the bottom of the beach with like a life jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> Rescue you. Maybe. I look like I got stuck up from the bridge. <laughs> Love you guys. Well, it's time to tell you that, um. What? It's time to tell you that, um, you know. What? You guys are really my kids. Whoa! <laughs> that is a bit weird. What is that? Well, I don't think there's an ambulance on the island, right? I think it's a shark alarm. Oh, look, he's rushing towards them on the jet ski. It might be a shark alarm. Oh no. Whoa, here we go. Woo. Whoa. <laughs> Oh. oh no, they're way at the back. Oh look, look, look. That was a bit of a failed mission. I was really keen to tell Biggie out there was like a perfect spot for it, but it just didn't feel right. Anyway, it's gonna be so good when they find out. It's kind of wait to see their reaction. I'm really nervous to do it because Biggie's been talking up all this game about how I'm gonna fall off. And I'm actually really scared of sharks. And I think we just heard a shark alarm. Oh, I'm so scared, I think I'm gonna die. And I'm literally right about to hop on. Oh, ah, my toe. go. You got safe. Yenaz, Gunners! Yenazzy! Naz is definitely on to the surprise. So maybe I should start like hemming it up going, oh yeah, we're gonna surprise. Like, you know what I do it always with the business class seats. This vlog is me and Papa fly business while you guys all fly economy. So maybe I should start acting like that. And then they're gonna think, no, she's just like pretending. And then I'm actually not pretending. And then they get the tickets, that'd be so fun. Yeah, Naz, yeah. Oh, Papa said he's got the shivers. Yeah, you'll have Are you serious? Yeah. It's like really bad fever. Are you serious? 
so there so, is no extra surprise. So if you know Papa, he never said he's sick. Even when he's really, really sick, he doesn't say he's sick. Oh no. I have what Naz had. What did Naz have? On the way back from Singapore. Oh no, don't That's do that, right. no. That can't happen in the public because Papa manages like all the passports and everything. Like it's we won't find our way home without that guy. So we've got to get that guy better. Otherwise this vlog will be a disaster. Yes, save! Papa like never says he's sick, so I think it's a big deal. I've never heard Papa my whole life say sick. Yes! Careful the reef! Careful the reef! Oh! Yeah. Are you still cold? Yeah. How can you cold? It's boiling hot. I know. Sweet. He's burning up. He is not well. He's a sick, sick guy. This is not going to end well. I'm going to give him some Nurofen. Just where do you feel sick? Everywhere. What do you mean? Like fluey? Yeah. Like sore tummy? Mm -hmm. Just fluey. It's really tired. I hope you're okay, Pop. Yeah. Because we really need you to get back home. <laughs> I don't think I could do You'll it. You'll be right. I'll have a nice relaxing time by myself. <laughs> oh, Pop. So bad I would have to stay another day. Oh no, <laughs> we've got so much planned, Pop. Wait, what? We're going home. Tricking you. We're tricking going home. You. No, you were going to go on a hike with Papa in the morning before we left. And now look at him. Now he's not hiking anywhere. I think he needs a, what's say like a pan like a latte. <laughs> It's most time in the sun, not enough water. That's always Papa's solution. Not enough water. Oh, Papa. Oh, so, no. did you hear a nurse? We're going to have to maybe do IV fluids or something. He won't be able to go home like this. Oh, that's good and bad. He's had a heat stroke. That's what, I, I don't know. Papa's like those dreams instead and get sick. I know. Well, luckily you didn't get sick before. Yeah. Oh, but Papa. still, we've only had, this is only our second full day and he's out. I know. Yeah. Well, well Papa's sick, but that's like serious nice. because he never would ever exaggerate. So. Well, Papa gets his dream comes true, and then later on, he's <laughs> probably got heat stroke. And then my absolute nightmare happened. You serious? Yeah, I'm deadly serious. I'm not. I'm deadly serious. I'm not there. Oh. Where'd you put it? So this, the safe broke and didn't work for a couple of days and so I just assumed the whole time it was in there and now mm. I've opened it and it's not. It's not looking good. I'm gonna cry. Can you read the bear? I can't believe this. Biggie! No! Saber! Socky! Come here! Yeah, I can't believe this. Is this real? Oh my god, I can't believe this. Quick! They just came and opened the safe and my engagement ring is not there. Why is it there? I don't know. Have you seen it? I'll check. Okay, I'm doing fine. Wait, is it there? There's more. Okay, no idea what mum's done. She's lost her engagement ring. I'm going to check the jewelry boxes. So, one. Why would I give anyone my engagement ring? No, Wait, did you wear it in the pool? You're not allowed to wear no. diamonds in the pool yet. No. Was it in the safe? Yeah, well, I'm... yeah, I feel like you've taken it off somewhere. Why would I take it off? Because you do stuff like that. I've seen you do it multiple times and then like, you know, I have to like find it. Do you have any pocket with what oh. you're wearing? Yeah. No, I would never put it in my pocket. Do you have photos of when you were wearing it? Just so like we can yeah, like work out when you lost it. And when did you realize that you lost it? Go through my phone. I wasn't wearing it yesterday. I didn't wear it since the safe got jammed. Yeah, that was I yesterday. Came home. No, the first night for dinner, I had all my jewelry on, and then I came home and I put it all in the safe, and then the safe like got jammed, and then I haven't I seen it since. I noticed again, jammed on power now. Well, yeah, yeah, someone I haven't got it out since then. Did, you've lost it somewhere in the thing. You should have apple, apple tagged it. Facial. Facial. Facial, of course. I took it off with a facial. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, where is it? <laughs> it was in your bag. 
Oh, so good. Oh, I have been leaving my bag everywhere. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look what Disky and Charm made me. Aww. It's so nice. So oh, You can wear it in the West Coast when you go. I wear it every day. Yeah. What about Papa? Is he still sick? Yeah. Well, he's coming. He's soldiering on. That's good. He's drinking lots of water because water fixes everything. So sad. Like, I, this is one of those holidays where I'm. I'm definitely gonna cry when we leave. Like I only do that in the best ones, but this is one of them. And I know it's like probably too old to cry now, but I'm gonna because I'm just um, so sad. In mum, are we? We're not being surprised. Yeah, no, we. We're why not? would you be being surprised, Biggie? <laughs> this is our last night here. I promise. I don't know why you have like feelings she that it's not That's your last night here. Thinking. There's no hope. Your hope's dead. There is hope. No, there's hope. Hope for what? What are you hoping Always for? Always hope. I'm hoping that we're going to stay another two days on this <laughs> island. I hate to crush your hopes, but I swear on Grandpa Glenn's grave, we are not going to. We're not going to what? Stay on the island. Stay on the island. Leave Fiji? What? Uh, you swear I'm going to get his lights up, we're leaving Fiji. Soggy, tell him we're going home. Ignoring him. Ignore that. No, no, say, are we, just we're no we're like definitely going home. home. Don't worry. No, we're it. going home. Yeah, we're going home. No, say. Yeah, we are going home eventually. Don't just want to say it's going to spoil the vlog. <laughs> I want to keep on guessing. Yeah. We're meant to be eating dinner, but Biggie found a ping pong table. Oh. Mr. Ping Pong. I feel like I'm so close to Soggy that I'm just going to have a fight with her just because she's that close. Baby. <laughs> Oh no, Biggie. I'll see in that seat. I can focus. And not look at the TV? Biggie, you lasted literally a millisecond. <laughs> I say we put him there. I agree, Biggie. I say we all have a mat in ping pong. I think someone's so keen to play ping pong with us so bad. <laughs> My favorite part today was either e-foiling or I actually had fun doing ice cream with you guys. Yeah, that was fun. Okay. Love the, the surfing with Papa. Yeah, yeah that was so fun. fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My favorite thing today is probably the surfing. I really enjoyed that as well. Oh, that's Pretty nice. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like now is a good, really good time to tell Piggy and Az, but the vibe's kind of changed, so I don't know if now's the right time. Um, so you went my drink up? Mine. That's mine. Yeah. That's no, I drank like this much. I didn't drink anything. Ooh. Piggy, Piggy so can have a drink back, please? Drink so can someone yeah, just say who drank it? Piggy, I think you're almost like this. I've loved it, and I'm so grateful I get to go here, but I don't know, there's something about home that I just really like. So I don't know if you know this, but this has been my room, and it's like pretty much my own like mini house, because if you walk out here, like I am like disconnected from the main house. Maybe it's good that we're leaving because I'm so sunburnt. I'm not ready to go. It's the morning of the day we're leaving. The day Biggie and Naz will be flying business class home. They have honestly no idea. They think something's happening, but they're never in a million years going to guess that. If you are new here, let me fill you in. Our crazy family of eight is just about to move into our dream house in Bondi, and our six kids who have never had rooms of their own are just about to decide which child gets what room. And we were thinking the kid who gets the best room should be the cleanest. Don't you think? You should see the kids' room. It's an absolute bomb. Naz is by far the messiest. Or saber. I'm just going to have a look. It's not usually tiny. Her room's clean. I actually feel like the kids get their messiness from you. Look how messy you are. This is all Brooke stuff. Before Nothing. he turned the camera on, he put all his stuff no, in his bag. No, dude, that's... Mmm. Naz, who wants the ensuite all to herself? Let's check out the ensuite. Oh, I'm cleaning it. There's all Biggie's clothes nicely put on the hangers. Well done, Biggie. What about Disco? Maybe he should get the ensuite. Disco is by far the cleanest Norris Nut. But do you think it's wrong for me to think the person who gets the ensuite room in the Bondi house should be the tidiest? Save. It's <laughs> <laughs> one sweet there. Yeah. It's not too bad. Everything's. So far, so good. Thanks. So this is how she keeps her en suite. She's not too got... bad for herself. Maybe it's Naz. Socky's room. <gasps> Everything wow. is kind of where it's meant to be, wouldn't you say? That's very neat. Socky, we have decided that you can have the en suite room. No, I want the attic room. Six o'clock, but it's like so bright. I don't understand because like I just have clothes on here because it's so hot. And mom has just like fully opened my doors. How am I gonna get out of bed now? It looks like we're gonna have a bit of a uh, burn to remember this trip. I just want to sleep today. We're gonna leave right now. Bruh. But there's a big prize. There's a surprise, is there? Who said that? You. 
I do. I think I need to get Naz to do my hair later because I honestly cannot do it. This is my version of the slick back. It sucks. Okay, mom, what's going on? We Why are we all gathered here, bro? Being gathered here today for one reason, and what? that is to work out who stole oh. Mama's chocolates. Oh. I think Papa ate all the cookies. <laughs> oh, that was nasty. They were chocolates, not cookies, this. <laughs> right. Was it you, Charm? I got walking out there and I didn't eat them. Who <laughs> can remember the last time Charm just looked at chocolates when she had the opportunity And did need it. Did you steal the chocolate? Yeah. Oh. Disco cannot reach oh. the chocolates. Close so it cannot be Disco. I promise it on me. <laughs> How did you do it? Jumped up there. I jumped like this. Yeah, I did see your chocolates and they did look tempting, but being a good daughter, I, really I didn't don't eat believe them. Socky didn't eat them. <laughs> I didn't eat them. I have to I say, have to I, I have to confess. Me too. I have to I confess. Oh wait! I ate three cubes. I ate one cube. Oh. I ate zero cubes. I rescued this lizard from a jar, and now we're like besties. Thanks for the holiday, Mum. Oh, there's plenty more good things where that came from. Thanks, Mum. I love you. Can you mm. guess what good things? Mm -hmm. well, it was the same, isn't it? Many more good things where that came from. Yeah. Like, like there's more good things coming. So she's basically saying there's more exciting things coming up in like oh, a riddle, yeah. in like a riddle type of way. I guarantee you, there's something exciting happening in this video. I can't trust you guys. What do you mean, like double tricking so there actually is something? No, there's no surprise. Oh, you think there's surprise? Big surprise means there's no surprise. I think there's surprise going to be something about the Bondi house. Oh. That's so you do saying. think something's happening, hey? Yeah. You are a bit sus. Yeah. Something yeah, definitely is happening, I promise that. Sus. Yeah, because that's why you guys keep going on about like the neat rooms and being neat, and this, that's about oh, the Bondi. So I think yeah. we're going to keep like saying I'm on the ensuite so room. Sad vibe. Food does make no one else happy, but I can just sense everyone's a little bit sad. And I'm pretty sad too. But it's one thing that'll make me feel better, and that's a sticky bun. Here's my first plate. So I got a plate of fruit. What Look what mum just did. It exploded. What did you do, mum? What did you do? Oh my god, mum just spilled a drink. But did you know the last person to have that bottle was Naz? What just happened there, Naz? Did Naz shake the ginger beer bottle and set mama up? What happened, Naz? I think someone shook the ginger beer. Oh. Was that person Naz? If you're the last person who had the ginger beer, had, um, and mum was the next person to have the ginger beer, that means you shook the ginger beer. That's not true, there's multiple ones in there. Comment who you think shook the ginger beer bottle. I spilled ginger beer out of She's 18 and she's responsible. 18, responsible. My ice cream fell off, I need to get it back on. No! We're gonna have to say bye to this lovely place soon. Suitcases are there. We're actually leaving. Naz, no surprises. It was definitely leaving. So, well, to be honest, I'm not happy, but I am very grateful. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Like, I agree. I had so much fun. There goes the buggy, and there goes the bags. It was so and good. The people here were so lovely. The Fijians are honestly the kindest people. They've made our holiday. No, that's too what I'm excited for. Well, like every single holiday in the new international airports, there's always a Qantas lounge with different things and different yeah. foods. And who's being surprised with business class this time, Sabe? Who do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. That's Let's what this vlog really is. Yeah. Biggie. That's the thumbnail. The, probably our favorite kid, Biggie. Oh, my <laughs> favorite kid. Is that what you guys are really saying? I love you so much to me. Because, like, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> we did this. Ah. Poor Sabe, she thought we were going on another holiday for a second. Well, we are. We're going to America now! Yay! Buggy, okay. Boat, okay. Uh, go to the airport. Okay. Oh! Oh. Oh. Oh.
sleep. <laughs> okay, we're all gonna tiptoe off. See if he wakes up. We would never do that. Biggie would be the same without sure, you. Sure, mom, you're switching up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never see those fish again. Bye, fish. I'm gonna name him Tilly. Maybe we could tell him now. Okay. Tell him now? Yeah. Okay, guys, do you wanna hear the good news? No, come here, I'll tell you. Stand over here. The good news is on the way home. Did you turn it off? Oh, it's on. It's on. Naz and Biggie are flying business class. Oh, hi! <laughs> Yay! Then we can start doing some fake surprises on you guys, I think. Really? Oh, yeah. Why do they not feel nice? No, it's fine. <laughs> Legends, I sort of believed it for a second. Oh, here we go, the next leg of the journey. Party van. Yeah. Ooh. It was a party on the way up here, but not so much on the way it's back. It's now the funeral van. <laughs> oh no, everyone's so sad. We had the best time. I'm feeling really sad, but I just feel like grateful that we got to go. No. Here we are. I reckon we're for real going home. I don't think there is any surprise. I hope he's dead. Saber and Soki got business class last time, so then big big in as the business class this time. Fair enough. This is the bag mobile. Wherever I walk, it walks with me. Did you hear what Naz just said? Naz yeah. said on the way home, she said that was too fancy for the plane, but I told her that she should wear it. And that's why she thinks me. we're flying, you're flying business class. But yeah. I genuinely, I'm just, anyway, I had some. Oh, hang on, Papa's over there filming. That is so sus. On his phone. We're that's checked in. Good. All right. Okay, it's all working out. Everyone's over there. We have no idea. It's all working out. Everything's great. Upstairs, it says airline lounges. Okay, legends, we're in the airport. I'm holding Charmy's hand. Just watching two people talk about sus things while I'm right behind them, filming them. <laughs> Just mess with legends, catchy knuckles! <laughs> I wonder what the Corners Club is like in Fiji. Wait, what? Oh, gosh, oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. So the camera moves. Okay. So basically, we're going to see if this is sticky date, this cake. Let's taste. That is sticky date. Tune back next time for Taste the Sticky Date <laughs> at 5 p.m. on 9 News. <laughs> Welcome back to the game show called Spill the Sticky Date. I, I appear to <laughs> spill the sticky date. <laughs> so I got the big good news. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> you two are flying business class. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you guys. Yay. <laughs> and there is chicken burgers here. <laughs> No, there's no chicken burgers here, but you are playing business class. What? Wow, please no. I don't believe you. I don't believe you guys. Well, like, I, I kind of believe, believe it. I don't want to believe you. Stop. Stop making me believe you. Okay, guys. What? It's act. true. Can we see the boarding passes? Yeah. Oh, you need proof? Yeah. I do need proof. You guys. It's not true. This is charm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even find where this is where we were going. Yeah. They're tricky. Who should I give to first, Biggie or Naz? Both of us. Yeah, both at the Those same guys. time. Yeah. Okay. Those are the whole one. People want to be here. Stop it. Why? Because it's not real. And it doesn't happen. Okay, close your eyes, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Don't open the teeth. Close. Oh no. Close. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Is it real? Oh <laughs> yes, what? No way. <laughs> I'm gonna give my one to Papa. Oh, oh, no, no, no. no. No, no, no. I want to give mine to mum. No. no. No, I love that you want to do that, but no, this no. is for you. We don't need it. No, you we might want to. You Come on, please. Oh, like so nice. like please take it. Please take it. Seriously. Have it. It's the best, guys. You'll love it. I really want you guys to have it because you guys always want it. Right? You're right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. Oh, that's so nice. Oh. Oh. 
watching it. So <laughs> no, that's so nice. I want to give it to one of you. No, honestly, you guys wanted it though. No, and like with Zebra and Zucky, you didn't get to have it. No, no, appreciate. I, I, I like you deserve it though. No, you deserve it. You guys work so hard and you've done you all these. You guys do everything for us and like you've always wanted to do it. Like I just feel like it's only fair that you get it. Big Nas, you will regret it if you give it to Mum and Papa, but you won't regret taking it for yourself. <laughs> So happy, but if you really don't no, want it, I love, I love that you said. Gosh, that. I, just, I, I love you. Know. And you know what? The real reason that these guys are flying business class isn't me and Papa. It's because of you and yeah. you support us, and we can make these videos for you and entertain you. So, yeah. so thank you so much. Hop on business class with me too. We're yeah. going to fly together. So the legends might never get to fly business class like me, and so your job is to make them feel like they're on business class with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can do that. It's gonna be really fun. What if they can't go because they're too young and they need a parent? I'm so happy. I'm so excited. <laughs> I, I, what, what are you gonna do on the thing? I don't even know. I feel so happy. I feel almost like bad for taking it. Me too. But you guys were super excited and they ran off and I have no idea where they've gone. We're just looking for them now, and they might be going the wrong way, who knows. And Biggie, I wonder what like the care pack's gonna be. They have blankets and stuff like that in economy. And the how pack? good are the headphones gonna be? Ooh. For the TV. So Biggie and Naz just got their passports, and they're never responsible for their own passports, so hopefully we see these passports again. Yes, if we don't, then that's just gonna be very bad. Yeah. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Okay, hang on to your stuff, okay? Don't yes, let it I'm sleep. always gonna go in the wind. Me too. I have never been the first person on the plane. Never. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I love like, yeah, so fun. I'm so happy for them because I feel like bad when like Socky Meek like got business class and they didn't. Yeah. So I didn't deserve it. I just had me and Vicky don't know what to do because we're not next to each other. Yeah, we're not next to each other. And me and Nas sat next to each other. I'm so happy. Thank goodness. Someone let us switch, which was like Very so nice. nice. Extremely nice. My um, my mom passport. Is that a joke? Oh my god, there's no way. Did you lose your passport? Oh my god. Okay, I think Biggie lost his bloody passport. Oh, you. Oh. It's here. Oh my gosh. Biggie needs to go to the toilet, but they've just like crossed, closed all the doors and everything, so he's probably gonna poo himself. What are you doing for dinner? Is that a keyboard? And the headphones are like comfortable headphones. And we got a pillow. Let me show you the tray tables. So you whip them out of nowhere. We got almonds and pretzels. <laughs> Got a ginger beer and it comes in a little cup. We're watching now our feelings together. Yay! So good. So me and Nat's got different things. So I got a pork cutlet and some raspberry cake. You must have been so good that the person who was looking after you gave me a bottle of champagne <laughs> <laughs> and a glass of champagne. Wait, no way! Yeah, she said you guys were really nice and just Aww, a pleasure. That's so nice. <laughs> Yeah.